the best software experience of all time for me was with this one this is oxygen os based on android 11 and this is the cyberpunk edition we are not going to talk about the port custom on which this is a ported rom for my device which is me 11x and i'm not going to talk about the things which are available working or not working etc it's just regarding my experiences some things which i found so useful so if you're a user of oneplus device or if you ever use oxygen os 11 you will definitely miss these things and you'll get to know a lot more things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end this is oxygen os 11 which i tried and this is the best ever software experience i actually ever experienced in to, in the terms of software because this brings you almost everything what you need for example the default launcher in default launcher it was just close to stock not having major kind of cluttered things it's as you can see this is one plus launcher it was so good so minimal all the useful things what you needed were already present there unfortunately with the color os edition things were changed even in the quick settings panel, the quick settings panel was looking like stock Android 11 style. A lot of users are actually into those things and they love Android 11 style quick settings panel. And as you can see, the clock at the status bar in the quick settings panel, clock at the top, that red digit, this looks so amazing. And one of the main highlights of using Oxygen OS, this was pure Oxygen OS at that time. But unfortunately, things are changed and now this is available with Color OS and Color OS, Oxygen OS kind of same so you know what i mean things are actually changed but these things were so amazing even the dialer yes the new dialer is not that bad i use that with oxygen os or color os dialer but this one was so amazing if you're into the custom rooms octavio os dialer was there it was themed like this one uh, the recents uh, those those favorites and the call screen ui was literally same in the avsp dialer but this was a stock one this was where from where those things were implemented and this was the original thing the dialer was so amazing call recording etc things were just super good at those times as i'm user of this this device which is me 11x and it is available as a board room i love this one because the port was quite stable things whatever i needed in my device were already present here this kind of battery stats were available in one custom room as far as i know and the name was shape shift os if you've ever used that custom room this kind of ui was present there battery usage etc kind of could be device specific so i don't think so there is much need to talk about these things Moving on to some customization section, as this is the port room, so there might be some extra customizations. But by default, if you have ever used Oxygen OS, it brings you two fonts options, OnePlus Sans, etc. And some options related to system icons, like the quick settings panel icons, which you can customize, and theming options, some wallpapers, ambient display clocks, horizon lights, some great useful features, useful customization features were present there. Even if I use this device like Mi 11X, I use almost everything and most of the things, 90% of the things were working fine. So I was not like that. I'm using a ported ROM. It was so stable. So if you are a user of Mi 11X, I think so. You have to check it out. And unfortunately, I don't have the link. So you can simply check out the Telegram channel. You will find that very easily. I will provide you the link in the description for that Telegram channel. So in case if you're a user of this device, you shall check it out. Another thing which I liked about this Oxynos was the app locker and parallel space. Parallel apps feature was present in this one and it was so unique at those times for the to enable this option. Some users were required to install parallel space app from Google Play Store. But this thing was present by default in Oxygen OS and this was so useful. Even the app locker, things were so good that because the performance was so nice at that time. I mean, if you have ever used Oxygen OS or basically OnePlus devices in the past where the Android 11 based Oxygen OS was available there, things could have been so great. The app locker was so good. The performance was good. It was near to stock. Almost everything you need was present here. And these are my experiences. What I just wanted to let you know, else things are basically same because this is a ported room. So yes, as I just mentioned, not going to talk about much. 
द एडिशन वॉज आई एम यूजिंग राइट नो बाय द वे इज अ साइबर पंक एडिशन सो दैट इज वाई द वॉल पेपर एंड द आइकन पैक इज बिट चेंज एज यू जस्ट नोट इज आइकन पैक इज चेंज देयर सम थिंग्स आर डिवाइस स्पेसिफिक सो दैट इज वाई थिंग्स आर लुकिंग लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट हेयर बट दैट दैट्स कंप्लीटली फाइन लेट मी जस्ट ओपन डेलेपर ऑप्शन वंस एंड लेट मी शो यू दैट आई थिंक सो इवन इन द डिफॉल्ट वन प्लस डिवाइस आई एम नॉट एक्जैक्टली श्योर मी लेट मी जस्ट let me just tell you that what this is if i enable this advanced reboot options go to three dots you will notice recovery and bootloader options as far as i know oneplus devices brings you this ui this kind of things in power menu the power menu was also nice performance was nice it was close to stock no ads nothing let me know in the comment box which one do you like the most i mean oxygen os 12 was there oxygen os 13 is already there 14 is already there but i guess oxygen os 11 or maybe oxygen os 10 or the previous versions were just so amazing if you have ever experienced one of those versions let me know in the comment box this was just my experience and i just hope that you loved this one and i just wanted to share with you my experiences this was all thanks for watching if you want to install this thing on your device on poco f3 links there thanks for watching goodbye